120 pound final division one. This is Ty Walls of St. Ed's wrestling Rakeem Johnson of Cincinnati Elder. Walls returning state finalist lost to Nick Cavanello last year at 215. Looking to move one spot up on the podium. He's had a heck of a bracket so far. Beating Chalmer Freuf in quarters and then Almonte Patrick last night in semis. Really took it to Patrick. Uh, and what I thought was going to be a barn burner of a final wall to put it out of reach early. Johnson got here on the strength of a 3 2 overtime win. He beat Freuf in their. District, or, yeah, district final last weekend to set up the Walsh Troy quarter. Rakeem Johnson also has a 7 4 and 3 2 win. The Walls committed to wrestle for Kevin Dresner in the Virginia Tech Hokies next season. Yet another wrestler leaving the state of Ohio for Blacksburg. That roster is just about all kids from Ohio or kids from Christiansburg, Virginia, where Dresler used to be a head coach. One minute gone by, first period, no score between Walls and Johnson. The thing to watch for Johnson, as with anybody who wrestles Walls, is how big is your tank. Walls is a really active 220. You can see with that motion, Johnson already hit with stalling, tries to toss Walls, can't quite. But from Walls, it's constant motion. You can see the in out, the taps, the fakes. Already given a handful of legitimate offensive attempts. We'll blow it dead. I think we've got blood on Rakeem Johnson. We do. So 31 seconds left, sec or first period. We'll try and get Johnson cleaned up. Johnson looking to become our second winner from the Cincinnati area. Joey Ward what, took the first Cincinnati title in dramatic fashion. His overtime win over Edgy Wright. In the marquee bout of the night, it certainly lived up to expectations and then some down at 132. The back to center, both nostrils plugged up for Johnson will clean up the mat. Blood time is cut. 31 seconds left. There's no score between Walls and Johnson. This is our second to last bat of the night. Our eighth finalist from St. Edward. Oh, single attempt to Walls. Nothing doing. Johnson gets to a leg. He's starting to wrestle with Walls' pace a little bit. Something we haven't necessarily seen from Johnson in this tournament. Seven seconds left, single attempt wall. Johnson beats on the head a little bit to stop it, and we will go to the second period. No score between Walls and Johnson. Johnson is 36 and 2 on the year. Walls 31 and 3. Has a pair of losses at Iron Man, and I believe one during the clash. So he, another wrestler, has not lost since December. Back to center, back to center we go. Walls on the flip as we're still trying to clean up blood. Because now Johnson has a half a tissue box in his right nostril. Which, as strange as this sound, the, the bloody nose could work to Johnson's advantage. I talked about how Walsh thrives on pace and wearing guys down. And if we're stopping this match to stop blood every minute or three, Johnson's going to have chances to regain his win. Johnson uh, immediately up and out. He'll kick and escape. Five seconds into the period. He leads Ty Walls 1-0. In and out from Walls. Now it's Johnson who drops to a leg. Can't quite get there. Half shot Walls. 
slide by there. Johnson, nothing. Pair of shots from Wall. Johnson gets a leg, but Wall backs out of it. 30 seconds gone by. Second period, 1 0 v. Johnson. Half shot, Wall can't quite get there. We'll scoot him out. And we're even. Blood time again for Johnson, which really have to stop it, but at the same time gives him a chance to catch his breath a little bit after that flurry. So the flip side of that coin is you can, you can probably not breathe with all that padding stuffed up in his nostrils. Strategy session by the head coaches with walls. It looks like nostrils cleared out for Johnson. So full breathing capability for the elder wrestler and with a minute 17 left we'll start back up. As all the makings of a one takedown wins match, half shot there, Johnson, nothing doing. Now walls to the head. Guys are hand fighting like they don't like each other. Walls has the head. Shrug Johnson back, gives him a little tap to the head for good measure. 53 seconds to go, second period, 1-0 lead still Johnson. Again, walls to the head. Nothing really doing, Johnson drives him forward. Now he can't quite get to a leg, reshot walls out of bounds, 40 seconds left, second period. the whistle goes ankle kick it looks like now another half shot he's slapping in a leg but can't really grab anything there's a high crotch cross again can't quite get there Johnson probably as strong as you're gonna get at 220 pounds he's built like a Greek god Wolf shoots him out Johnson walks back to center blood time no taking injury time is Johnson We're getting an inhaler for him. So as we problem, middle of the second, 22 left in this period. Again, strategy session for Walls as Johnson literally gets his win back here. Again, I think we're gonna clean some blood up off the mat. That's a difficult thing for both of these kids is focusing through what's been a long battle. We're eight minutes into this. There's still 22 seconds left in the period. And seeing how mentally tough you can be through a full, through a full 15 minute match. And it's easy to waver as you see Walsh is dripping sweat. But it's easy to waver even for the slightest second which has taught you a state title. The ability to stay to lock, stay locked in through all the starts and stops is probably going to determine the winner of this match. Back neutral, 25 seconds to go. Second period. Walls now working on the head of Johnson again. Gets kind of to a leg. Nothing really doing. Johnson blocking off. Walls hand fights tough. Now gets short offense. Can't quite snap and go. Four seconds left in this period. It'll be Ty Walls' choice in the in the third. And he goes underneath. Johnson's ridden pretty well this weekend. No need to here in this period. Spiral ride. Nope. Five seconds and Ty Walt is out. Remember, Johnson has been warned. Something to keep in mind as we get into the last minute or so. This back now, low single. Pancake over Walls rolls out. Great defense by both wrestlers there. 140 to go. Our first big swing here at 220. Walls drives Johnson back out of bounds. The edge corner wants stalling. Won't get it again. Walls drives Johnson forward. Nothing doing. Working on the head. Half shot. Johnson looks like he's starting to get gassed. There's your stall. Walls shoves him out. Johnson breathing heavy, looks like he's hurting. I mentioned 
mentioned it a couple times, Ty Wall's pace is tough for anybody, particularly a guy as big as Johnson. He looks broken with his body language. Walls is up 2-1. Attempt there, Johnson. Minute nine left, Walls still driving forward. He looks fresh as a daisy. Drives Johnson out. Johnson wants his inhaler again, so we'll take a second injury time. The official, though, is going to give it blood time as he points to the nose, so I do not think it'll be Walls' choice, which I think is the high school rule. The second injury time taken gives the opposing wrestler choice of position. As Johnson gets an opportunity to get his breath back, Johnson all the way back up. One minute even to go. Ty Walls up 2-1. As Johnson in a collar tie, hand fighting on that wrist. Johnson does look a little fresher after the blood time. Still those dragging hard in the center. Shrug attempt, Johnson. Nothing doing. Out there, walls. 30 seconds left now. Johnson needs to figure out whatever his best scoring attempt is and take it. If he has a go to shot, it's time to pull it out. 20 seconds to go in the final swing single there. Johnson, nothing doing. Walls steps out, still hanging on the head now. Shrug attempt. Johnson tries the high crotch. Walls probably could have covered instead. Steps out. Stall warning tie. Walls. 10 seconds to go, so he can't just block off for five. Johnson Dragon Walls will give him another shove. Ty Walls, your winner, 220 pounds state champion. The fourth of the night for the Eagles. He wins 2 1. The future Virginia Tech Hokie, his first title in his second trip to finals. Ty Walls, your winner.